For four days and four nights, pilot Bertrand Picard flew non-stop from Hawaii to California. His plane, Solar Impulse 2, goes 50 miles an hour. That's what a NASA test pilot would call Mach 0.065. When you fly a normal airplane, you go faster, you have more control, but you have no freedom. You need to refuel every time. But Solar Impulse is powered only by the sun and can stay aloft for days. Theoretically, it could fly forever. When you fly Solar Impulse, it is slow, it is difficult to handle because you have big wings, sensitive to turbulence because of the light weight, but you are free to fly forever. So it's another way to do it. The goal is not to reach destination as fast as possible. The goal is to stay in the air as long as we want. Covered in solar panels, it's an X-plane to be sure. One that could lead the way to electric and possibly even solar-powered aviation. The only reason to land is to change the pilot when the pilot is too tired. Wired caught up with Picard and his fellow pilot, Andre Borschberg, at Moffett Airfield in Palo Alto, where the plane was being inspected and recharged inside its custom inflatable hangar. So what you see here is a demonstration of energy efficiency. And it translates into a very big wingspan. Uh, this is bigger than the 747 in terms of wingspan, but it's the weight of a car. But the cockpit is so small, it makes a smart car look spacious. So here you have the, the yoke, you have rudders. It's mechanical, like on a normal airplane. Last year, Borschberg set a new record by flying solo for five days and five nights from Japan to Hawaii. If this was successful, we knew that we had an airplane sustainable you know, in terms of energy. Now the major question and the big question was how to make the pilot sustainable as well. The cockpit may be minuscule, but it's built for the long haul. Here is the toilet you see under the seat. To avoid a reenactment of The Shining, the pilots use yoga, self-hypnosis, and meditation to stay relaxed and focused. If you want to sleep, you recline the seat. World records and round-the-globe adventures are great, but they're really out to prove that solar and electric air travel could be the future of aviation. I bet that in 10 years' time, within 10 years' time, you'll have 50 people flying commercial as passengers in an electric airplane. Solar Impulse 2 will be making its way east across the United States, then hop the Atlantic on its way back to Abu Dhabi, where the journey started. Thank you.